they're a lot more efficient. I know our kids enjoy them and our drivers drive them because they're quiet. I mean, it's 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 just a really smooth ride to be quite honest with you. I mean, it, they go they go quick. They do what they're supposed to do. And like I always try to tell the message, or my message is always: in the end, they're a bus that gets that get kids safely to school, to and from. You know what? I'll tell you what. So as a community, I know our firefighters are really concerned about the batteries and lithium and, and how that all worked in an accident. And then they did a good job of coming down and training them and, and walking through the process if there was, ever was an accident, how we handle that. So I appreciate the time Highland took to train our first responders. Past that, really not a whole lot. You know, range has always been a constant question, which in the cold is a concern. But, um, you know, it's just really planning. You know, make sure when it's cold, your buses are fully charged, ready to go. And when you come back, make sure they're charged again. So those, are the, those have been the big, biggest questions. Fuel, I'll, I'll speak to that first. You know, since we're in a fixed cost, it, it takes all the fluctuation out of that, which as a superintendent, I appreciate. You know, you don't want to plan one, or give you, for example, one year uh, school, a school district ne nearby was paying $50,000 more just because the price went up. They're not getting anything more out of the buses. You know, they're still going the same routes, the same distances, the same ball games and all that. But the cost went up that much because of the diesel price going up. Where for us, we have a fixed cost for all of our routes. And so we don't have to, we took all the fear of that out of making that decision moving forward. Well, the clean air, number one. I mean, we don't smell here or anything, I mean, anything like that. It makes a huge difference. The sound, you know, every day I say goodbye to our kids as they leave. And, you know, when you're next to a diesel bus versus electric bus, it's night and day difference. But then, honestly, for me, it's just, it's that exhaust. I mean, you, you smell the diesel, you know where it's at and, and you hear it, but it's really that the, the, the air quality in a, in a electric bus is a thousand percent better than a diesel bus.